so here we shall finally be completing the editing job what uh, we have at present is we have been able to display the records then we were able to show the details of a particular record in the edit, edit form now our last step is to perform the save let us see the theory behind it then we'll proceed to do the coding you will have to understand this theory first this is the form we are showing at present order number prod amount and a save button what is shown in the address bar address bar shows slash home slash edit record slash 5 so this is showing the data for the fifth record and we reached this action method through a get request this is what is currently being shown in the address bar when you click save this is the submit button what will happen is that the very same address bar uh, address bar address will receive this data through a post because save is a submit and it is submitting to the same page to what will it submit it will submit to home by edit record by 5 this 5 edit record and home the data will be posted back to this receiver but what do we already have we already have edit record int question mark id and by default if you do not write this is always a get request if you do not put an annotation here then this is a get request by default this means when you click save there is nobody to receive it there is nobody to receive it so what we have to do is we have to create another action method with the same name because this will be posted to home by edit record the name of the action method has to be same but it has to be a post receiver and it should also have an id parameter to receive this 5 So what we are going to add is another HTTP post put this annotation at the top action result I am just abbreviating it edit record int question mark id we should have an action method by the same name because it will be posted to the same edit record action we should have an action action method with the same name it is compulsory no other option is there because it is edit record that is typed in address bar already you are posting it back to the same action method but your request this time is not get it is post i repeat if you don't write http post here it is treated as guest get so first thing is that i need to have a post the second thing is the name must be same the third thing is it must contain an id parameter because of this five and the fourth thing is that since this data is being posted back there must be a receiver for this so i'll have to add another parameter to this i'll call it tbl order tbl order give it any name t or whatever you want and create a function like this so when this when this is posted back your data will arrive here you will get tbl order t this information the new information will be available to you and id will also be available because of this 5 so here you will know which record is being edited 
and what is the new data for it. Rest you can understand yourself. You have everything here to cause an update. So what I want you to understand specifically is why this sec why this int question mark id is here and why the name is same and why is this post. You cannot give any name to this. It has to be this because you came to this page through edit record and you will go to the same page with the same URL. So it has to contain an ID parameter with the same name but with post and in addition another TBL order parameter will be there. So uh, before proceeding to the next page I just want to tell one thing. This name is this name is matching this one because we are posting to this. If you want to give it a different name, I, I doubt if you will have any reasons for not keeping it same because it is more readable. But still if you are interested in giving it a different name, then what you have to do is in the at the rate html dot begin form. Here you must pass a parameter that tells the destination to which this data will be posted. But that will be a rather complicated step because you will have to still make arrangements for ID. You might have to do some R&D for that but the point is that you have to put parameters down here. So that form action is equal to slash is not there because when you don't put any parameters it is slash there. You can view source and see it for yourself. So that action is equal to this is not there but rather action is equal to slash whatever path you want to give and with whatever id uh, you can pick that id from the uh, from the id of the object that is passed here and you can accordingly build this action. Probably you will have to pass that anonymous like new action is equal to string dot format and do that id 5 whatever through the format. Okay. Having said this let me come back to the form and start to add that function. So here we will start typing http post then the same name the same name this is get by default and post we have to mention here id will be a parameter here also an additional parameter will be tbl order that will contain the new data get product codes is used to fill the view bag in case validation fails that data must be presented otherwise this step is not required because if validation succeeds then you will be in any case redirecting him to the home page. You won't be required to display the same page back but if uh, you are doing server side validation then you have to write this. If model state is not valid in case server side validation failed we haven't added any validation code into this models and uh, to keep the thing simple but if you have kept that validation code annotations on the model properly then if you and if you want to do server side validation then you have to do this coding which I have included here. If it is not valid return view in that case this get product codes will be required to fill the view back. Another thing is uh, you could have put this code into this function also so that it is filled only if you are coming to the same page. That is another optimization thing that you can always look into. So generally during training uh, we don't write much optimized code. 
so you have to take care of those things at your own level using db orders ctxt we have opened the connection to the database and we are attaching the object coming from outside to the already existing collection why attach if you find that object from the collection then note and now if if this is the one that we have supposing here we searched an order from an id and we could have written order dot this order dot change the properties and called save changes in that case no attaching is required because you have picked this object from the existing collection if you pick that object from the existing collection and alter it then no attach is required but if an object is coming from outside it has not been picked from this by using first or default or anything similar then you must attach that object to the existing collection before you can call save changes so here we have to attach the uh, the incoming object to the collection another option was here you could have done is used this id to search your database for the object existing in that collection and then once you have that object then you could have one let us call that we you got that through an obj parameter obj variable then you could have manually put obj dot amount is equal to t dot amount and written two or three lines obj dot product foreign key is equal to t dot prod foreign key because t is coming from outside and id is coming from outside you made use of that id to search that obj from the collection of tbl orders so if you made use of id for searching then attach would not have been necessary and just the next step would have been ctxt dot save changes you searched this object from the database based on this id then synchronized these values and calling save changes but in this case we are taking another approach we are simply attaching the object coming from outside to the tbl orders collection then ctxt dot entry t dot state is modified because by default you can check up the documentation an incoming object is always attached in a unmodified state if the state is unmodified because if you attach it and we know that it is modified but when you call the attach function the state is unmodified this means if you call ctxt dot save changes no changes would be saved so therefore we are setting the state to modified here ctxt dot entry dot state is equal to modified and then if we call save changes this data will be updated and now the last thing is to cause a redirect to the action called index let us run it see it and i hope you are already appreciating how little code we are writing into the whole story it is more of an enjoyment of writing code because we have to be very careful in writing what where and still we end up writing less less typing let us run it and see the what happens this is the form that we get now what i'll do is watch the first record mobile ox to uh, this is we'll change the values now click edit changing it to software and changing it to just appending new here and appending new here so that we'll come to know that changes have occurred click on save it is actually uh, failing that validation so i'll have to put here 20 okay some default validations also occur because this is an amount so i'll have to put uh, some value i'm putting some figure so that we can easily detect it at that and save 
and it brings me back to the saved values are there new software and all so I hope you are quite impressed by this wonderful technology and we'll close it right now in our next lecture we'll proceed to do the same thing through through, uh, through Ajax so that when somebody clicks on this edit a pop-up appears and makes changes the pop-up will dismiss off without taking us to a new page things will change on this page so if you want that then the Ajax option is also there and it's even more interesting closing it right now